In this ESP.NET Go video tutorial, we will create different ESP.NET Go projects. Then I will run each one for comparison. So open your Visual Studio and go to File, New, Project. So here on the left, you will see recent project templates and the recent project that you have selected will be displayed and on the right you can search for the project template you want and you can filter by language platform and project type so you can also search it by typing the template name you want to search so we will select ASP.NET Go Web Application. Click on Next. And here, you can enter your project name. So we'll put this one to Web Application. This is the location where it will be saved. And then the solution name will be the name of the solution. And then Create. And here, as you can see, we have Create a new ASP.NET Go Web Application. And on top, we have ASP.NET Go. We have also the .NET framework, so we'll select .NET Go. And here, we will have the different version that is available. If you don't have the recent version, you can download it. For this course, we will use the ESP.NET Go 5.0. We will go through this project. So for this one, it will be the ESP.NET Go empty project. This is an empty project template for creating an ESP.NET Core application. So if you want to build from scratch, you can go forward with this template. So the next one is ESP.NET Core Web API. This is a project template for creating an ESP.NET Core application for a RESTful HTTP service. It can also be used for ASP.NET Core MVC views and controller. And the next one is ASP.NET Core Web App. So this template is to create an ESP.NET Core application and you can use a Razor page in it. Then the next one is ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller, which is also known as MVC. And this template can also be used for RESTful HTTP service. And you can also use Angular, the template with Angular. So this project template, it will have Angular with it. And you also have the React one. And then we have the ReactJS and Redux. So depending on your requirements, you can select from this template. We will create a project for the empty template, uh, then the web API, then the web app, and then for the model view controller. And it should be noted that this course will be focused mainly on the model view controller. At the end of this course, we will be building an application which will have the model view controller and you will also be able to do the crude operation in it. So firstly, let's create the ASP.NET Core empty project. And for the empty project, you won't have authentication. Make sure the configure for HTTPS is, is selected. This is for security purpose and then create. Here we go. Here we have the blank ASP.NET Core project. So as you can see, we only have these in the blank project. Now what we will do is we will create another project. And we will select ASP.NET Core Web Application. So this one will be Core Create. So Make sure Go is selected and ASP.NET Go 5.0 as version is also selected. And then we will select the ASP.NET Go web application. Now let's open the authentication. And if we click on it, we will see this window. So here we have different options that we can select from. Uh, so if you, you want to use the Azure Active Directory, of your work uh, with school tenant so you can select this one so here you can select 
uh, either a single organization or multiple organization and the domain name and then click on OK or you can use individual user account so these are predefined authentication that you can use so for this project I won't create any authentication so I will let it no authentication uh, by the way if we select a authentication for example if I select the individual user account we will have an additional folder namely areas which will be created select uh, ESP.NET Core web application and then click on create so this one here we have the core folder structure now let's create the MVC one and then we'll select ESP.NET Core web application same and put MVC create and then we'll select the model view controller so click on create make sure the configure for HTTPS is selected now we will create for API So we'll put API, create, and then we will select the ESP.NET Core Web API. Now I will run each project that I have created and show you what do the existing default template have. And this one we have the blank project. The blank project will only have hello world. And we get it from the startup.cs. And this one is uh, ASP.NET Go web application. Here we have the ASP.NET Go MVC web application. So as you can see, this is the web API project. So in the next ESP.NET Core video tutorial, we will go through the project folders and files. Stay tuned. So we have arrived at the end of this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.